We will guide you through how you can play PS4 games on your PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's jump into this. So first off, we need to start up our Google browser. Let's open that up. Let's get it on our screen. And we write PS4 Remote Play. Then we press this first link that pops up on our browser. We open that up. We scroll down and we select the console that we have. For me, it's con uh, PS4. Control your PS4 control and you select the uh, operating system that you're playing on. For me, it's Windows. I select it. Then I scroll down. You agree to the license agreement and privacy policy only after you have read it. I have read it previously. Now that I've read it, I press the download button. Just open up the file explorer in the bottom. Then go into downloads and here it is at the top. Now let's minimize this. Let's open up a remote play installer. You select the language that you speak. For me, I prefer to choose it in English. Press OK. And now you're currently downloading all the files. PS Remote Play can be useful for people that want to play games from their PS4 on their PC and have the freedom to go in another room instead of transporting their PlayStation constantly. Really useful for people that have laptops. They can install this application and move around with their laptop around their house with and be able to play all the PlayStation games on it. Now, welcome to Install Shield for PlayStation Re Remote Play. We press Next. I press Next. Then I press Install and we wait for it to be installed. And as you can see, we have successfully installed everything. Now we press the Finish button. As you can see in the top left, the application appears. Welcome to PS Remote Play. First off, you will need to sign into your PlayStation Network account. And now we are back. As you can see, I have successfully logged in. I agree with everything, so I press confirm and continue. Before we continue with linking our PS4 to our PC, which is the last tab, we select this gear icon right here and we open up the settings. Then we go into video quality for remote play. Here, this is a PS5 only option, HDR, but let's go into the PS4 options. Resolution, you select this setting according to your internet speed. So if your internet speed is worse, you need to select a lower resolution. Frame rate also depends the type of uh, internet connection you have. So I'll select standard for now. And here in information, you have all the things relevant about the information. And after you have finished everything up in your settings, you just press the OK button and that should be it. Permits the PS4. Then you can link it manually. You press the link manually button right here. And you wait for this to load. Here you need to enter a certain number. Now I need to swipe up using my left analog, then go to the second to last setting uh, or briefcase in this section called settings. I open that up by clicking the X button. Then we scroll down until we find the remote play connection settings. We open this up. Then we select uh, the add device button that is located right here. We open that up and we write this number into this section right here. Okay, now let's write it and I'll be back as soon as we are inside the PS Remote Play. And now as you can see, we are currently inside of the PS Remote Play. I can uh, use my PlayStation 4 on my computer, but I cannot move around with my controller. So now let's jump over to my camera to show you how to connect your controller to your Play a computer and use it for PS Remote Play. And now we are back. As you can see, here is the PS Remote Play. It's currently on my Windows computer. You to connect your controller and to be able to use it. As you can see, I currently can't use it. I can't do anything. I'm trying to move around, but there is no purpose. You take your PS4 charger or your controller, and then you plug that in into your PC, and you should be able to use con your controller. And now I have connected my PS4 controller to my PC and as you can see I can move around using it. Let's try to maybe open up a certain game. Let's try to open up Fortnite. And as you can see Fortnite is successfully loading onto my PC using my PlayStation. 